Well, then in 1988, the next year, that's when I felt like things really escalated in Queens. Yeah. Because uh, there was this Guyanese immigrant uh, on this block that uh, Papi, uh, Pappy Mason controlled. All June. And he... Yep. And he would call the police whenever people would be selling drugs in front of his house. The house had been firebombed a couple times. So the police set up uh, a police car in front of the guy's house for protection. And in the police car was 22-year-old rookie cop Edward Byrne. Mm -hmm. According to reports, Pappy Mason, who you had mentioned before, ordered a hit on this cop. Uh, he ends up getting... Um, killed in the car and that set up a chain of events that essentially Edward Byrne became the face of the war on drugs in America. Yeah, Bush. Uh, yep. Yeah. Well, Ronald Reagan personally called the family, you know, to give, to give, uh, you know, give the family his condolences. And then when George H.W. Bush actually ran for office, he had uh, Edward Byrne's badge that he would pull out at mm -hmm. rallies, the level of attention that came from this situation, it, describe it to me, what happened in Queens after that. Man, I remember that as vividly, like exactly what was going on in 88. You know, I just bought me a new 300 CE, gold, black and gold bands, cool. The door knock, the doors come like, yeah, it was just crazy. And, and the police would pull me over in it and they, and they would tell me, if I catch you over here getting this car, I'm gonna put this car up your ass. You know, and I'm like, how you gonna put a car up my ass? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I said, all right. So I broke out. Then they had a a group called TNT. They put that together, TNT. So if they catch anybody on them blocks, they beating you up. They're not taking you, they're not taking you to jail. They're putting you in the hospital. You know what I mean? They was just, and these cops was like big mountain guys. Like, you've never even seen these type of police ever. They post up on your block. Nobody was getting no money. If you out there, you usually put TNT come around Tuesdays and Thursdays. You know what I'm saying? Those are the days they hit your block, hit your house, you know, whatever they're going to do. But then they start just hanging around every day on my cars, four in the car. Boom, next you know, your whole block is flooded with all of them. And they whipping you out. I mean, kicking your ass and throwing you in the car after that. You know what I mean? And one year, I mean, that same following year, it was like, I remember it was going towards 4th of July. And one of my guys, I'm on one of my blocks, and um, we were doing the fireworks, whatever. And the police, the unmarked car came, and they, they came on the block. They said, everybody got five minutes to get off this block. Now, mind you, you got guys that live on the block. They got houses. And I had a stash house. I had a house on that block that was mine. So it was like, all right, if we catch you out here, we come back around the corner, if you're out here, you know what's going to happen. So as they get pulled off, my man threw firecrackers in their car. Man, them dudes jumped up that car. I didn't run. A couple of dudes ain't run, but a lot of people ran. Yo, them dudes just grabbed me and pulled me, threw me in the car, threw the cuffs on me, and threw me in the back of the car. So I'm in the back seat of the car, so I'm like, yo, why, why, why you, why you arrest me? Why, why am I going to arrest? Shut up. Punch me right in my face. Now, police not to hit you and leave no marks. Back then, they hit you and leave no marks. So now I'm coming to the, in the precinct. So I told the desk sergeant, I said, yo, this nigga's punching my mouth. The dude took my hoodie and dragged on my face and said, shut up. In front of him. They ain't did nothing. So then I said, I said to myself, I said, I got to shut up. Cause these motherfuckers, they going to hurt me. They going to, you know what I mean? So now I'm quiet. So now I get out two, three weeks later, same year, 88. We, we going, we going to a club and it's me, another guy, another guy, another guy, and a girl. The girl is on the guy's lap. I'm in the back seat, me and my guy, we back there. So we, we going to a famous club, but we got a, you know, thing on us, right? So we driving, and my man rolled the window down, 
and the police on my car come on the side of us. And he's talking, and we said, yo, you can't get in there with no gun. So I said, yo, police right there. He said, you can't get inside the with a gun. I'm like, yo, five minutes later, they pull behind, whoop, whoop, pull us over. We, we had, right? So now, the driver dude, my guy, I don't know, I don't say no name, he pushed, he passed the gun behind him to my guy who worked for me, who's a lower guy, that you got to take it. You know what I'm saying? So I see him trying to tuck it. I said, I'm looking at him like this. No, nah, put that on you, right? So now they pulled him out, the driver. Then they pulled the girl off the guy's lap. You out. You get out. Now I'm getting out. So now they pulled me out, put me against the car, handcuffed me. So now I'm looking. I see him trying to tuck it in the seat. I'm like, don't do that. Don't do that because it's going to take all of us. I said, don't do that. So now, but he got the straw in his mouth. So the police come to him now. They pull him out. So as he's getting out, they pull him out. They search him. They see the gun. They say, he got a gun. So they say, so slapping him. Take that straw out your mouth. He trying to spit the straw, but the police hitting him. Hitting him. I'm like, yo, how you going you know, to do that? Right? So, so now they got us lined up on the thing. So my other man, the driver, dude, he says something. The police do a roundhouse. Kicks him. Boom. So I'm like, so then my other guy, they punch him in the chest. Right? So now we get in the precinct. So they're like, why the fuck you laughing? Right? He looked at me and said, why the fuck you laughing? Right? I said, because y'all beating our ass, bro. You just did a roundhouse on my man. You know what I mean? Y'all fucking us up. You know what I'm saying? So the nigga, he looked, he looked at me, and he said, put, put us in the, in the pen. And then we got in um, Harlem, not Harlem, in Manhattan, the tombs. And they, and they um, let us all go, but kept him, my guy with the gun. You know what I mean? And I said, I'm about to get you out. And when I get back home, you'll know, you, you be right out. Well, I mean, yeah, it basically became a war between the drug dealers and the police at that point because one yeah. of theirs got killed. Um, well, four killers were identified in that murder. Uh, Philip Copeland, Todd Scott, Scott Cobb, and David McClary. Um, I guess uh, Corey Pegues knew one or two of the guys. Yeah, I knew I knew, um, I knew, knew all four of them. Me and Dave used to play ball together. You know what I'm saying? Me and them used to play ball together and... Um, you know, we, 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 it's never a problem with me and Dave, but, um, at the end, you know, he, I got down with, with, you know, with glazing him from Brooklyn and, um, you know, and I was, I was just saying to him, like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? And like, me and him had like a little discrepancy, like, you know what I mean? Cause them guys wanted, they wanted to do something to me, you know what I mean? At that time, you know what I mean? They wanted to do something to me and, um, you know, I'm getting money. I'm, I'm, I'm in Queens. I'm getting money. So they feel as though I'm from Brooklyn, I'm here, let's let's invade. But you know, the team is strong, so it ain't just cause the two heads is going, that don't mean the other guys, you know what I mean? So, you know, so the team was going on, but but then Dave wound up that he wound up getting mixed up in that. I don't know how that situation happened, but they accused him of it, you know what I mean? And um it wound up happening to him, you know what I mean? But I speak to him on the phone, I spoke to him on the phone. 